Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates and in this episode we are going to be promoting more of our units and also leveling up some supports but before we do that crap let's build a lottery shop because you can never gamble enough and you know what when you're done gam- actually that's a really bad place to put it uh where should we put I guess Lilith might want to gamble from time to time we'll just put it near her house for the time being but yes the lottery shop is something I have not actually delved too much into but I assume it's kind of gambling and I don't have to play childish games like this but go ahead and give it a shot <laughs> um okay Hayato we get it you're not a kid but let's play the dawn lottery and see what we win I gotta say that is a very HD lottery thing what do we get you got a consolation prize oh well, that happens to the best of us Oh, I got a daikon. Neat. Still not one of the things I need to recruit Daichi with, but hey, you know, now I got some extra food. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the lottery shop. A lot of these things are just little mini games, by the way, guys, and I will show off the records haul probably the next time we have a support episode. But now onto the main, uh, well, second main attraction. I leveled up some units off screen to max. However, I still don't know what exactly I should promote Rajat into. So she's gonna stay at level 20 for right now, but Obero, on the other hand, oh my gosh, girl, we know exactly what we're transforming her into. And it is the Spear Master. It only makes sense since, well, we could potentially make her a Basara, but there's someone else I want to make that class. So for right now, we're going to transform her into a Spear Master because, yeah. The skills from Spear Master are really, really good, especially for Oboro, so I really want to get that going. So hopefully we get her leveled up soon. And then, oh my gosh, my army is quickly becoming just ridiculously powerful. And I gotta say, I like this outfit too. She's got a flag going on. I dig it. It's it's unique for fire. Actually, is it? <laughs> I, my, I probably should have played some other Fire Emblem games in preparation for this LP, but oh my gosh, it just, it just flew, like, time just flies by, man. I don't even know what to do nowadays. I'm just like, oh, well, I should prepare for this, and then just all of a sudden, it's already here. But now, let's move on to Rinka, who is finally level 20, which means she can now get more skill, thank God. So, we could turn her into an Oni Chieftain, which can use clubs and scrolls, and wow, that just sounds terrible for Rinka. So instead, I'm gonna make her a blacksmith, since the blacksmith, in my opinion, has way better skills, and, well, leveling up her skill isn't going to be bad, since that will increase her hit ratio with those darn clubs. But yes, Rinka, your time has finally come. Now you may possibly be slightly more useful. Yeah, dang, look at that stance. She's like, whatever, I don't even wanna promote. It's like, yeah, meh, who doesn't want to promote? But yeah, I'm not a fan of the class's name, but the practicality of it, wow. Shoots through the roof, and now we can use swords. Kind of not super useful, and let's see, what should we do with Caden? See, here's the thing about Caden, all right? We could use a heart seal and turn him into a diviner, which we already have an excess of those, but his master seal can only turn him into a nine tails. So what I'm thinking about doing with Caden is promoting him right now, then either keeping him this class or changing to a different class once he is promoted. Because once we do promote, we'll have like some other classes to choose from. But whatever, I'm just gonna try it for right now. This could be a giant mistake, but you know what? Hey, he's got one tail right now. Why not give him eight more, you know? But yes, Caden is going to be Pretty darn invincible now, at least until the enemies start having only promoted units, but hey, that's still quite a ways away, and oh my gosh, the new outfit, dude, I dig it in the white tail. Not bad at all. Groovy, more things to excel at. <laughs> I just love Kato, man. just groovy, it's like, who the dump says that, but yeah. I'm not gonna focus on Raja right now. I just decided, oh my gosh, I forgot Hana. I was super excited when Hana hit level 20 because I know exactly what I'm turning her into. So no doubt about it, Hana needs to become a sword master. Debatably the strongest class in the entire game because of one skill. And yeah, once Hana gets the skill, uh, I don't know, man. 
She's pretty much gonna be unstoppable, and I kind of want to get that skill onto pretty much every single member of my. Actually, Ryoma has the skill right now, so I guess I can talk about it. But yes, gotta say I liked her other outfit a little bit more, a little more pink going on, and that's not bad at all. She was really lacking in uh, defenses, so getting two there isn't bad. I would have preferred three, but yeah, it's basically just an evolution of the samurai class. But Ryoma, dude. He already has it, and where the dump is Ryoma? He already has the skill, and you did see it in part one, Astra. This is triggered by the amount of skill you have, and it is true, you do five attacks at half the damage, but what this doesn't say is when you're paired up, you do ridiculous damage, and you get your guard gauge filled every time. That's crazy. That pretty much makes Ryoma unstoppable for the most part as long as he has a good support with him and speaking of supports and Ryoma that was actually an unintentional segue but hey I'll take it let's see what him and Kagero are up to Lord Ryoma I have a report on the mission you assigned me the other day your mission to find something you like to have what did you think of after much thought I've been unable to think of any item I would like however I did think of something you could do for me oh what is that I would be honored to train with you. Normally, it would be unacceptable to cross blades with you, even in training. But I feel that if you'd make the exception, I could learn a lot from sparring with you. <laughs> that certainly sounds like the kind of request you would make. I'm glad you found a way to express what you wanted. And to me, you asking to spar with me means you have confidence in my abilities. Then, you and I may practice together? Indeed. If that is what you wish, I will face you as many times as you like. I'm incredibly grateful, my lord. <laughs> Don't thank me quite yet. You may end up defeating me easily. If that happens, I doubt you'll learn very much. My lord, I seriously doubt that I will be defeating you anytime soon. Knowing that, I'll be coming at you with everything I've got. I would expect no less from you. Come, Kagero. To the practice field. Yes, my lord. All right, so Kagero uh, kind of had a boring request. I was thinking of a fudge sundae or maybe a popsicle, but no, she just asked to fight with her lord, which, I mean, it's kind of an honor, I guess, but at the same time, like, really? You can just ask for a popsicle? <laughs> Anyways, though, what should we do next? Um, well, that was decided really easily for us. Uh, let's see Rajat and Korin are up to, and... Mm. Oh... Hello, Rajat. Did you need something? Nope. I see. Well, would you mind not staring at me so intently? Why? I'm not making any noise or physically disturbing you. I suppose that's true, but it just makes me feel a little uncomfortable. It seems every time I turn around, you're there, peeking at me. Don't worry about it. I'm just watching over you. But why? Because you're my soulmate, of course. What makes you say that? We barely know each other. Because you saved my life. Watching over you for the rest of yours is the least I can do. I actually think that's the most you can do, Rajat. And it's not necessary. Yes, I saved your life. But you have done the same for me. As would anyone. Uh, sure. Anyway, if you hadn't saved my life, our fates were already intertwined. How so? You really don't remember? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'll be observing you even more carefully from now on. Well, this went poorly. Yeah, good luck with that, corn buddy. Um... Yeah, Rajat's a little creepy, not gonna lie. I wonder who she got this from- <laughs> that tray from it. Rajat, we need to talk. Oh, hello, Mother. Why are you making such a scary face? Did I do something? Listen, this is hard for me, but I have to ask you something. Be honest with me, okay? Uh, okay, what is it? I heard that you cast a spell on a group of villagers the other day. Is it true? They wanted me to perform a good luck ritual for their upcoming harvest. I didn't really want to, but they were so insistent that I gave in eventually. I've been receiving complaints from them about your magic. Why would they complain about me? I just complied with their request. They said that a mysterious illness is beginning to spread among them. 
Apparently, they've never seen anything like it before. I don't know why that would be. But sometimes even Benigan magic can have unintended side effects. They are blaming your magic for the sickness that is upon them, as if it brought some terrible evil to their village. Rajat, I don't believe for a moment that you would ever attempt to hurt anyone, but you have to tell me about the enchantment that you used. If it did, if it did cause their ailment, we'll have to find a way to cure them. I can't stand by while people spread nasty rumors about you. Those villagers will be wary of me, regardless of what I do. Maybe it doesn't really matter. What do you mean by that? Aren't you concerned that they're afraid of you? It's complicated, Mother. You shouldn't involve yourself in this. No good will come of it. But wait, come back here, Rajat! Oh, uh, I'm assuming that Rajat kind of thinking did inflict a curse on them for no good reason. It seems like something she would do. Just throwing that out there. Maybe her dad can convince her to stop being an idiot and Rajat, we need to speak. Father, why are you shouting? The villagers have been gossiping. They say you're acting standoffish and you never talk to anybody. What's going on? Nothing. I'm behaving as I always do. I'm not causing any troubles or hurting anybody. What's the issue? It's simple. You have an attitude problem. Maybe you're right. Are we done here? <laughs> no, we are certainly not! Why can't you cooperate with others? Because I'm not interested in people. Except for one special person. <sighs> I'm not saying that you have to bend over backwards to make friends. At the very least, you must cooperate. There are social rules that must be followed. Rules that are just as important as fighting alongside your allies. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Father. But this is really aggravating. Watch your tone, Rajat. You're profoundly mistaken. If you think you can go around living like a child, pursuing only that which piques your interest is foolish. Open your mind to new endeavors new possibilities. It's time to give up your juvenile ways and behave like a grown-up. Rajat, are you even listening? <laughs> child. What? How can you sit there and lecture me about being a child? You're younger than I am. Just leave me alone. <laughs> hey, come back here! Am I really younger? <laughs> God damn. That is an interesting family to say the least. God dang, but uh, hmm. Maybe we should touch up on the other child that we just recently received, and god dang, there's just too many funny characters to see in this game, dude. I want to talk to them all, but, well, we'd have like 90 hour episodes. Anyway, actually, no, not Hayato. Let's do Selkie's family next, and see what Selkie has to say about our avatar, I suppose, and... Uh, Selkie, why are you growling at me like that? Roar. Okay, I can see that you're upset, but... Can we talk this through? <laughs> Fine. I just want to know why you interrupt me in that battle. You mean, when you were about to finish off that opponent? Yeah. We're supposed to be on the same team. What were you thinking? Selkie, that opponent was already defeated. I stopped you out of mercy. Defeated? He was still alive? He could have healed and attacked any of us. Besides, when I'm in my animal form, it's not easy for me to pull back like that. You, out of all people, should understand. I'm afraid that I don't have the same kind of hunting instincts that you do, but I must ask of you, for all of our sakes, to remain focused on the battlefield. Think about how your actions are impacting the greater cause. Meh. I don't get it. You're gonna have to do better than that. <sighs> oh, seems like Corrin and uh, Selkie, you know, they kind of have the whole transforming thing going on, but they kind of don't get each other. Kind of odd, you think they'd, you know, understand each other very well, but maybe that's just because Selkie seems to be kind of juvenile, just like Rajat. Maybe her mom should talk some sense in. Hey, Mom! What are you doing? Wanna go outside and play? What the... Where'd you get all that mud out of here, Selkie? Oh, I was exploring in the forest. I think I fell off a cliff or two. <laughs> but, but you're okay, right? Oh, I'm fine. I just scraped my knees a little bit. Everything still works the same it's supposed to. See? That's good. Nice form of those jumping jacks, by the way. I admire your energy, but you might need to be too rambunctious for your own good. Why don't you find a hobby you can do inside instead? 
Mm, that's no fun. Like what? I hear knitting's nice. Rinka is saying knitting is nice. I don't know. Sounds boring. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play dress up. We can put on makeup and everything. Makeup? Why that of all things? I probably shouldn't complain if it keeps you indoors, huh? Yay, let's do it. Give me that lipstick. But I don't have any lipstick on me. I'll round some things up and get back to you later. All right. This is going to be great. Oh, so uh, Rinka and her daughter are playing dress. How old is Selkie supposed to be? I don't really know. Anyways, what's going on, Kaden and Daddy? I gotta. Qu I'm not comfortable saying. Uh, what's up, Selkie? If your question is how to give your fur a lustrous glow, you're in the right place. Nah, what I wanna know is, what's that a Kitsune Hamlet like? Oh, that's right. You've never been to the mountains where we come from, huh? Nope. There's a bunch of Kitsune like us there, right? I've never seen one before. Except me. And me, right? Oh yeah, you too. I can't wait to meet the rest. They're a bunch of jokers, those guys. We used to run up and down the hills as foxes all day, eating and carrying on. Oh my gosh, that sounds so fun! It sure was. Lots of good times there. It's a nice, laid-back place. Hmm. I was almost tempted to stay on there as their leader. What? You're the Grand High Boss of all the Kitsune? Oh, uh, did I forget to tell you that? That's true, I was. Wow, Daddy, that's a big deal. Totally is. Yeah. <laughs> Man, thinking about it makes me want to go back and visit the place. I might want to go with you. Please, you bring me along. Sure. It's time I introduced you to the others, anyway. It's a long way from here from where we are now, but I'll take you someday. Yippee! I'm gonna race them! Every single Kitsune in the Hamlet. You'd win, too. My bet on it. Really? Oh, this is so exciting! Just a bunch of foxes talking about running around, eating meat. Gotta say, I'm kinda jelly. <laughs> but now that we've taken care of that, who do we do now? Oh yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing next. <sighs> Azama, you're one heck of a guy. And I did not level up your support. God dang it, let me go do that real fast. <laughs> I've never prepared for these videos, I swear. And okay, two challenge battles later, we can actually do what I thought I was already able to do. So yeah, kinda figure it out by now. This is uh kind of the pair I need to make to start the next paralog. So, Azama and Setsuna, they've been together for pretty much the whole game, and now they'll be together forever. <gasps> I did it. There's no going back. Azama, do you have a moment to talk? Sure. What is it? Are you going to cook a meal again tonight? No, it's not that. I... If you are, I can't overstate how important being in your zen state will be. If you do that, the food is guaranteed to come out perfectly sublime again. I have to be totally honest with you. That's not actually what happened last time. What do you mean? Well, I told you before that my secret was not thinking about what I was doing. But the truth is, I was actually trying my hardest to make something you might like. What? Oh no, I, I didn't mean to tell you. Well, of course you didn't. So why were you so intent on pleasing me anyway? I... I like you. Incredible. You know you're really one of the most strangest people I've ever met. I barely understand you. How could you possibly like me anyway? I'm always being rude and sarcastic. That's very sweet of you to say. As per usual, you don't understand me. Eh, I can't believe I'm saying this. But perhaps fate brought us together for a reason. Only someone as inherently kind as you could ever accept me for who I am. It's as if the gods are staring down and laughing their heads off at me. You mean... Fine, yes. I admit it. I like you too. And I have felt that way for a long time. This... <laughs> This is so embarrassing. Oh, Azama. 
you always say the sweetest things to me. I'm overwhelmed. You and me both, Setsuna. Say, why don't we go for a walk? I think we've got a lot to discuss. Hmm? We seem different somehow. Hmm, well, maybe I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. Sometimes I feel like I might get on other people's nerves. I can't imagine why. Oh, was that a bit of sarcasm, Setsuna? <laughs> okay, not really. But yeah, I don't know, man. That pair is uh, pretty hilarious. So now we can do another pair log. I'm gonna save that one for a little bit later, though, since it's not really what I'm interested in doing right now. For the rest of the episode, though, what should we do? Oh, I forgot about Kaze. Kaze has a lot he can... Huh, who should I do next? Mozu would be very inch. Ah, Mozu gets so much attention, though. Honestly, I feel bad for Kagero. I'm gonna start leveling her up and use her next episode in Kaze. Can I have a moment? Uh, sure. Is something the matter, Kagero? Your brother Saizo is so quick to anger. Do you have any ideas how we could get him to be less volatile? Have you two been fighting about things again? Our opinions regarding battle strategy are considerably different. We occasionally find middle ground, but in general, we do not get along in command. Honestly, Kagero, you probably understand Saizo better than anyone else. If anyone is going to find a way to come to compromise with him, it's you. I doubt Lord Ryoma would have made you both his retainers if he didn't think so. Hmm. I was hoping you would have some brotherly insight. I wish that were the case. I don't think my brother and I are as close as other siblings seem to be. We don't really spend a lot of time talking about ourselves with each other. That is unsurprising. But secrecy is a core part of our very nature. Our training goes beyond the bonds of blood, even for twin brothers. To share more information that is absolutely necessary, just as natural. I suppose that's true. Now that you mention it, Saizo and I did not talk very often in our childhood either. Naturally, secretive, I suppose. Hm. <laughs> You're probably right. Perhaps we would have a little chats more often. Of course, we'll avoid issues that our duty demands we not speak of. If that's what you wish, I'll consider it. Thank you very much. Oh, Kaze, the ladies may making his return, even though Kagero came up to si Kaze first. <laughs> oh boy, I wish that happened in real life. Anyways, who are we gonna knock out next? Takumi and... I don't know, we could... I really should focus on just leveling up some supports, because I've noticed it is a little bit difficult to remember what's happening in other people's stories, but at the same time, dude, I just want to... I just want to talk to everybody, man, and... Mm, what should I do now? I don't know! God, eh. Let's do Jacob and Azura, why not? We'll just start another one, and... You are the ocean's grave. <coughs> what a lovely melody, my lady. Thank you, Jacob. My mother taught me that song. It always reminds me of her. Ah, oh, that explains why you look so happy just now. They must be lovely memories. They are. That's all I have left of her now. Memories and a song. And at least you have that. I cannot even recall what my mother looked like. Jacob, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. I'm afraid it is, but don't worry yourself on my account. The world is full of orphans. Still... It would have been nice to have learned a few songs. Please excuse me. Goodness. I had no idea. If I'd known, I'd... I wouldn't have chosen my words more carefully. Oh, that's actually the most depressing one ever. Holy crap. Azura and Yakov do not know their... Mothers. Oh, man. I hope he at least had a... Daddy remembers. Goodness. Oddly enough, Azura didn't mention that either. Hmm. Interesting, but... Yeah, some people were kind of confused and like, no, John, it's Jacob. No, your Jacob is not a name. It actually is a way you can pronounce that name specifically. However, calling him Jacob is also proper. It really depends on where you are in the world, and I just got educated on that yesterday. So, for I guess the rest of the Let's Play, we'll call him Jacob, unless you guys just seriously cannot stand it. Personally, I like it. It adds a little bit of elegance to his name. Maybe I'm the only one that sees that. Anyway, Silas, buddy, I gotta know. 
what the dump is. How, how can I not remember you if we were best friends for most of our life? I gotta know today, and Silas, I'm really sorry about the other day. What? Before we found out? Eh, it was a long time ago, Corin. No need to worry. No need to be so sorry. I'll admit, the truth isn't exactly what I expected. It was a little embarrassing to learn how much I cried after I couldn't see you again. I can see why they try to take your mind off me, though. I guess I simply did too good of a job. That's putting it mildly. I suppose the feelings of noble boy weren't a priority. <laughs> Next to the young prince. I've done the same thing in their shoes. You have a big heart, Silas. I would feel my offense in forgetting about you was far worse than any of theirs. I'm actually relieved by what we learned. What? Why? You cried every day because you weren't allowed to see me, right? Doesn't that prove I really was your closest friend? Yeah, I suppose so. You should know that I have no regrets about taking you outside those walls. Nothing makes me happier than helping you in whatever way I can. Silas, you're a better friend than I deserve. Well, now that the past is laid to rest, it's time to focus on the present. Well said. Did you decide yet what you wanted to go see? Wait, dang, I forgot the list! Wait here just a second, I'll be back with it. Wait, Silas, I'll come with you! You don't need a sprint! So, I suppose, um, we're kind of missing something there, I guess... What happened was, because Silas got taken, like, in corn outside the walls, Corn was really depressed about that, so they kind of like wiped his memories. I'm not too sure if I just failed to read something at all, but that's kind of weird. But let's move on to Silas and Oboro. And dang, Silas is a ladies' man too, apparently. Huh? Oh. Uh, hey there, Oboro. Come to do some training? Sure. I've heard the Hoshiden style swordplay is unrivaled. I'd love to learn more about it. How about some friendly sparring to test our skills? Pass. Whoa, that face really says it all. You really don't want to spar with me? Huh? It's nothing personal. I hate all Norians equally. Just thinking of them gets my blood boiling. But maybe I'll relax a little if you turn out not to be so bad. Uh, alright, I guess I can't fault you. What with the bad blood between our nations. Let's put that anger to use. We can still do some sparring. Not a good idea. As angry as I am, I'd probably kill you. Uh, um, I'm gonna go do something else now. Bye. That's strange. Well, I'm sure she has her reasons. Yeah, she definitely does, but uh, that kind of, cro that kind of slipped my mind that Silas was a Norian. After, you know, we've had him for pretty much the whole game now, but... Yeah, I mean, Oboro, he's proven his loyalty many times over. You shouldn't be that afraid of him. Gosh, and... Yeah, I'm gonna finish up Hinata and Oboro. That seems like a good idea, and... Hey, Oboro! Thanks for the haircut. It turned out great! Well, no need to thank me. I notice your hair is getting shaggy, too. How about I return the favor and give you a trim? What? Don't be ridiculous. Keep your hands off my hair. No, it'll be fine. If it's not my own hair, I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's not the problem. A woman's hair takes a special touch. Not some happy-go-lucky oafs. Why not? I was gonna make you look cooler. What exactly is your idea of cooler? Besides, I like my hair a certain way. Oh yeah, you wear hair like that so it looks like Lord Takumi's. Oh my god, it does! Yep. As long as I serve Lord Takumi, I want to emulate him in every way. I mean, that's why I inspired your hairstyle too, right? <laughs> yep, I rear my hair like this, so I can be as great as our master someday. Well, it's not doing much for you so far, I can tell you that. Lord Takumi is way cooler than you. I know. Jeez, you're so obsessed with him. <laughs> like you're one to talk? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a little overboard here, huh? How about instead, we do some training so we can better serve Lord Takumi? Sounds good to me. But I don't want to see you cry when I win. <laughs> That's my line! Well, not really, Hinata. You're still level 10, so... She 
wins that battle pretty much every time. And speaking of Takumi, what can we do for him? Oh, I can't, nothing. I already tried that, come to think of it. And man, I re okay, from now on, I will start planning out who we're going to be doing in episodes. But uh, why not end it off with Sakura and Saizo? Actually, I'll do a couple more. And Excuse me, Lady Sakura. I'd like a moment. Oh, hi, Saizo. Sure, I'm not busy. <clears throat> uh, thanks for your help. It was only your intervention that kept me alive. Oh, many time. You're almost like family to us, so I don't mind helping you. But, Lady Sakura, why were you so far from camp that night? I was feeling restless. I think about it. Maybe I knew somehow about your predicament. It must be a divine gift you enjoy as a shrine maiden. Whatever it is, I'm glad it saved you. Yes, well, while we're on subject... Yes, Saizo? I want you to have this. Oh, desserts from Castletown at Hoshido! These are hard to come by. How did you get your hands on them? I heard they were your favorite of yours, so... I acquired a few as a token of my gratitude. You, you got these just from me? Mm, that's what I said. Yes. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing now? Because it's funny to think you going out of way by desserts. That, that's... <laughs> oh, sorry. I keep giggling in front of you. Oh, instead of keeping them all to myself, why don't I share these with you? Uh, no. That's alright. I... But there's way too many for me to eat alone. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to go. <coughs> Say so. He vanished. What, was it something I said? What is it with recent Fire Emblem and their obsession with candy? So many supports are back. I don't know. It's even the last game. Maybe one of the directors has a sweet tooth or something. I don't stinking know. But we gotta knock out one more. Kaze. Why are you helping Felicia out so much, especially compared to everybody else? It seems like there's something else going on here. Now I just need to bring it to a simmer. Oh, but first a pinch of salt. Uh, that is sugar. But g Kaze! Good evening, Felicia. Always remember to double check your seasonings. Yes, of course. But while you were here, I was hoping you could tell me something. The other day... You were just about to tell me why you were always helping me, but stopped. What were you going to say? Ah, you remembered that. Of course I do. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. It's been causing me to mess up all my chores even more than usual. Even more? That's possible? <laughs> Very well. I want you to promise me something. You must never tell Lord Corrin what I'm about to disclose. Lord Corrin? Okay, then I promise. Truth is, Lord Corn asked me to look after you. What? what? So then, he doesn't really trust me, does he? Mm. Well, I wouldn't put it like that. Lord Corn cherishes you. I think that's why he came to talk to me. He just wanted to make sure you were okay. I guess you're right. It's just, I only want to be helpful. It turns out I'm just a burden on the both of you. No, you're a valuable part of the army, Felicia. You shouldn't feel like a burden. That's what friends are for. So please, don't beat yourself up too much over it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kaze. You always know what to say. It's no problem. So, does that mean we're friends? You're not just helping me because you have to? Of course. I said from the beginning, I enjoy helping you. That's great. I'm so happy to have you as my friend. Kaze just got friend zone. God dang, that was savage, Felicia. Oh my gosh. Um. Well, that sucks for Kaze. How could you do that to him, Felicia? God dang. Honestly, our avatar is gonna have a word. You can't do you. Can, it's Kaze, girl. You can do it, Felicia. Just put the pot back in the cabinet. Gently. Gently. I'm not the same old Felicia I've always been. I'm Super Felicia! I'm transforming into an elegant maid, like a caterpillar into a butterfly. No, no, I'm the same! Why 
does nothing hurt? I could have sworn I slipped. Felicia, try to be more careful when you're on a ladder. Lord Corrin, you caught me. Uh, I'm just glad I arrived in time. Now, Felicia, you need to pay more attention to what you're doing. No wonder you got distracted all the time, talking to yourself like that. Uh, you, you heard that? Having you catch me was bad enough, but hearing me talk to myself! I'm never gonna live this down. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. Let's get back on the ground. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. So, you know, I might consider the keeping this little incident to myself if you were to tell me something. Oh, but what was that? Remember how I was scolding you about always putting others before yourself? And you said that you did look out for yourself? What did you mean by that? Oh, that... Uh, do I have to tell you? Uh, yes. I've been wondering about it ever since. Okay, then. I just meant that I look after myself by looking after others. Uh, what? What do you mean? You were worried that I neglect myself by trying too hard to help out. But the thing is, I'd only be neglecting myself if I didn't help everyone. If I stopped, I just feel terrible and useless. I want to be happy. I know I'm a big klutz, but I take pride in working as hard as I can to serve others. But don't you find that exhausting? Very much so, but it's a meaningful kind of exhaustion. And that it makes it all worth it. Felicia, you're a very inspiring person. You know that? Oh, stop. You're making me blush. But I don't want you to push yourself too hard. Remember, you can't help others very effectively if you're exhausted all the time. Well, I know that. I promise not to overwork myself. <laughs> Good. Now, if only you could promise to keep away from the dishes, too. Corin! Why'd you have to go and spoil a perfectly beautiful moment like that? <laughs> Sorry, Felicia. I couldn't help myself. But I do hope you'll always be there to help us. On and off the battlefield. Of course, my lord. Aww. I like that event a whole heck of a- oh. I just realized both Corrin and Kaze are really, really close to S-ranking Felicia. Wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Well, she is pretty popular around the army, but I uh, didn't know she was that popular. Anyways, before we go, uh, let's do... Who should we do? I'm thinking Haya... No... Let's do Corrin and no, let's do Ka no. I don't know, man. They're all so funny and interesting. Ah, God dang it! All right, let's just do Corrin and Hana now that she's a sword master. And Sakura, Lady Sakura, Hana, are you looking for Sakura? No, I'm looking for stinking you. Oh, Eek! Oh, it's you. Do you need me for something? Uh, wait, did you say Eek when you saw me? That's not a reaction I get very often. Never mind. Sakura isn't over here. Oh well. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Goodbye, then. Hang on. Just like that? Wait a minute, Hana. What is it? I really need to go find Lady Sakura. I feel like there's some pretty intense animosity coming from you. Did I do something to slight you in some way? Mm. Yes, you did. I can't think of what it could be, but I apologize for it just the same. Lady Sakura has spent years being sad over your kidnapping. I've watched her and tried to hide the tears countless times. And I don't like someone who makes my best friend cry. But Sakura cried because of me? She's never said anything to me about it. It's pointless to ask her. I doubt she'd talk to you about it anyway. Really. I feel like I've been wasting my time even explaining this to you. Sheesh. However, you are a commander of this army. I still obey your orders. No matter what my personal feelings towards you are. Goodbye. That was unexpected. Yeah, sorry, lady. I got kidnapped. Not my stinking fault. God. Okay, that was uh, not how I thought that would go at all. Hana seemed like such a nice girl, but apparently doesn't like when Sakura starts crying. Well, understandingly so, but that is all the time I have for today. Holy dump. We did like seven, I think, supports. I'm just, just a random number off my head, but we will do even more in the coming episodes. For the time being, though. 
We have to mentally prepare for the next chapter. Chapter 16 takes us so close to Norian Borders. Oh my gosh. Look at where we started in this game. We started all the way over here, and now we're here, dude. Holy don't. We have been traveling like nonstop. It's a lot of marching, but yes, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. This game is about to get stinking crazy with this chapter. Pretty much after this is where things get pretty nuts. But I'm not going to spoil anything for the time being. Hope you all have a great daily, though. I really, really do. And I'll see you in the next episode where we take on chapter 16. And, oh gosh, I still need to just mentally prepare for the stuff that has to come. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.